already see the chart displayed behind me gives a very important message about the causes and effects of the depletion of ozone layer. And the question is, are we the cause or the victim? So, with the help of my mom, I was able to express it in a form of a model, which made me win first prize. So let's see how it was done. Take a cardboard of 11 into 20 inches, draw a margin in the center, paint half with black. Over to you Maria. Oh, it's fun working on it. I'm done mom. Paint the other half with brown, grey and white shades roughly. Take any plastic bottle, remove the top and the bottom. Cut thin strips till the mid. Now roll the uncut portion into a pipe. Tape the end. Form the branches of the strips that we had cut. Now pierce a hole in the center of the black painted portion. Insert the half pipe inside the hole as shown, keeping the branches under the board. Spread the branches and tape it. This pipe was made as a stand for the tree that I'm going to insert in now. I used a branch of the dried tulsi plant from my garden. Fix the branch into the pipe using the hot glue. Paint it to conceal the glue and the pipe. It looks like a complete trunk of the tree. Now let's work on the base now. Take 11 into 20 inches light wooden plank with 1 inch thickness. Fix the black piece on half of the wooden plank, leaving the brown piece unfixed. Take any cotton board and tear them into pieces. See the difference in the shades of the cardboard? Fix further smaller pieces on a bit larger portion as done to display the cracks on the ground. Lightly spray brown paint to give the texture of the sand. Fix these stone carton pieces on the blackboard to show the drought land. Our half droughted display is ready. Let's create the other half now. Take the same size cardboard and paint it using grey or silver paint. 
Over to you, Maria, again. Oh, thank you, Mom. This is my favorite task. Spread the glue randomly and fix the cotton like the clouds. Lightly paint the cotton to give the shade. I had used few drop shaped transparent beads. Fix these beads to show the projected drops of rain. We are done with the sky. Let's create the sun now. Take an aluminium scale, glue 3 inches on both the sides. Wrap the crumpled newspaper over it. Keep repeating it. Now roll the thread over it. Further cover it with a crumpled yellow paper. Roll the thread over it again. Apply glue and paste the cotton sheet over it. Spray orange paint on it, followed by the yellow shade. Keep it to dry for few hours. By the time, fix the other half of the flooded land on the wooden plank as done. Fix the scale that holds the sun on one side. Glue the other portion and sandwich the scale between the boards. Clip it till completely attached. Take 2 into 15 inches of two cardboard strips. Paint one using grey shade. Use brown for the other. Let it dry. Now turn both the scales and paint them using blue shade. Just roughly smudge little green shade to project the land on water. Let this dry too. Now turn and apply glue on one inch border of the brown scale. Fix the glued border on the front of the droughted land. Well do the same to fix the border for the flooded land too. Measure the height and the width of the board that is 11 into 20 inches. Take the above mentioned sized mount board, keep the scale in the center and use it as a compass to draw the semicircle on the board. Cut two such semicircular boards, keep them facing each other and draw a horizontal margin in the center as shown. 
Paint half of each board using the grey shades. Paint the other half using brown and yellow paint. Let it dry. Now turn it and paint the opposite side using blue shade. Create the rough imaginary land using green paint. Give further shading with light green paint. Draw the latitudes and longitudes now. Apply glue on the partition and the base. Fix the board on its respective sides. Give the finishing touch now. Paint the base using brown shade to show the mud. Let it dry. Spread glue and fix the transparent plastic roughly. Paint the plastic as well to show muddy water. Glue the artificial broken plants, trees, vehicles, rooftops here and there to show the destruction caused due to flood and heavy rain. Keep layering more plastic over it. Let's give the finishing to the droughted land. Glue and fix the broken pieces of a clay pot. So glue a small toy crow near it. The thirsty crow had died due to the thirst. The skull and bones are fixed to show the death without water. These skull and bones are made out of clay. Take two OHP sheet to show the ozone. Paint a rough circle using black shade and cut it randomly. Glue the top of the partition wall and fix the OHP sheet as done. These holes depict the ozone layer depletion. The arrow shows the direct rays of the sun on the mother earth, causing floods, heavy rain, tsunami, etc. The other half results in droughts, deforestation, disasters causing lives of millions. Water is precious. It has been hazardous. On the other, the model is just a way to express the situation we are facing today. Guys, when this idea came to my mind, I shared it with my mom. I knew it's Zebzad B who could bring my imagination to life. It's very clear that due to our negligence, the earth is getting polluted, which led to the depletion of ozone layer that has resulted in the global warming, tsunami, earthquake etc 
These natural disasters are shown in two forms on either side, that is drought and flood. So, please save our Mother Earth and save lives. So, do subscribe for more such creative art. Till then, as always, do keep crafting. Bye-bye.